Originally it was going to be very much like the radio play like you have in a lot of first person shooters or right. whatever, but it was going to be interesting because it was had to be more nonlinear. Because mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to cheat. I could just cheat and like everyone you find plays the next one, but right, that's lame, right? right? Yeah. They got to be like themed to go with the different areas and whatever. Mm -hmm. So that was going to be an interesting design challenge. Um, but then, uh, and I was super excited about that in 2008, 2009. Sure. But one thing about a long development is, you know, this game took six and a half or seven years for people who don't know that. Yeah. It's a long time to design. Um, you change a lot as a person in six or seven years and what you're excited about. Mm -hmm. And also the idea itself matures a lot, right? And yeah. so toward the end, I, I had gone through many revisions of what it, the story was going to be. And I just didn't like it. Because the game itself is about understanding the world um, clearly. Like cl It's about having clarity and, yeah. and having these moments of surprise or epiphany that help you understand the world more clearly. And so going in a very... Also adding, uh, there's, there's actually two problems. Like one is also adding this heavy fiction felt like really there, it fought with that idea. Sure. But then also just adding a lot of talking f sort of clashed with the nonverbal communication that the game's about mm -hmm. a lot of times. But I did want to have something, right? So right. I just kept messing with it and eventually it's like, okay, there is going to be talking. It's going to be in the form of like these readings, which which were originally going to be used to parallel. They're going to be like two or three sets of audio logs, and mm. the readings were like one of them, and the story stuff was another one. And I eventually diminished the story stuff until it's like six things that are hidden and barely in the game, yes. right? That a lot of people yes. will never hear. Uh, from four of them. <laughs> yeah, and that was the first one that I was actually happy with. It was a, this was again one of those decisions where it's like I have to be true to the game that I want to make, mm -hmm. and that's taking me in the opposite direction. It's like, if I want to make the most money, or I want to have the highest Metacritic or whatever, sure. you know that some people want that, mm -hmm. right? And so, if you want those people to be excited about your game and talking about your game, then you put a radio play in there. Because it's proven to work, and you can do something that'll at least be, you know, mm -hmm. you can tell from the, from the other production values in this game, is not exactly AAA, but it's fine. It's like for an independent team, it's satisfices, right? right. It's good. Yeah. So we could have done that with a radio play; it would have been good. Um, I mean, we certainly had really good voice actors. I was gonna on say, the yeah, game. you wouldn't They're, rounded up some, some. Some of the best of the best, pretty, right? Pretty, you know, good people. Yeah. So um, we could have done that, but it just it felt wrong. I would have felt mm -hmm. like I'd betrayed myself a little bit. Yeah. Um, so we didn't do it, but that does leave like you're talking about for for people who want story. They want that and we're not giving them that yeah. and that's just what it is.